Well, we are going to do a little baking today for Amelia's first birthday. So I'm getting ready for Amelia's first birthday party. And let me tell you, people, I had this moment of like, of like a character just nailed down in myself because I was on Pinterest and like first birthday party stuff, it's crazy. It's crazy. And I had like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to Etsy and like buy all this stuff. And I had like $200 worth of stuff for this party. And I thought, absolutely not, Rachel, absolutely not. So I took it all out. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make this very simple and I'm going to just make a little dessert for the party and we're gonna have a little smash cake for her and then we're gonna have water. That's what her birthday party is gonna consist of and you guys get to see the bulk of it. So what we're gonna do are cake pops. I'm gonna try this out, I saw it on Pinterest and usually my Pinterest stuff fails miserably because I'm not great at this kind of stuff. So this is gonna be a test run. With these cake pops, what we're, you're going to do is to get a cake box of any flavor you want. I did vanilla and just follow the recipe. Get a can of icing. Get some sticks, what are these even called? Lollipop sticks, you can find these like at a craft store. Some melted chocolates, little wafer things, and then some sprinkles. So the first thing you're going to do after your cake is baked, you're gonna take your, and you're going to just crumble it up. Again, it's gonna get messy, it's gonna get crazy, but it's worth it. And it kind of weirdly feels cool. Okay, and you just make a mess all over the floor. <laughs> and then, after your cake's all mush, now you're gonna take a can of icing. And I would suggest doing just about like half of it because your goal after this is that you're gonna wanna mush them up into like a little ball. And so you may, depending on how moist your cake is, you may not need a ton of the icing. So I'm gonna start with just half and see what happens. And again, Hands is the best, the best way to do it, the most effective way. And then sometimes it's like disgusting and you look like you may have a disease on your hands, but you just keep pushing through, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, if there's a guy out there making cake pops, God bless you. God bless you. Just get back in there. <laughs> you think this like would be enjoyable, but it, it's like kind of gross, but it's, Totally worth it for the child that you birthed, right? Amelia, this is all for you, sweetie, honey, child, love. Okay. Now, I'm gonna wash my hands. All right, so once your hands are clean, you're gonna make <laughs> the balls with the hands, aren't you? Now it's time to get back in there. So you probably don't wanna wash your hands like I just did, that was a misstep. Then you're going to create little like half inch balls and you can do like a, a ice cream scoop. And then once you kind of get the shape, then you can just pack it with your hands. So I didn't finish all of this cause it's gonna probably just take too long. So <laughs> what you do is take what you've made and the rest of your batter and you're gonna put it in the freezer for 30 minutes. And while those are in the freezer for 30 minutes, then you're gonna melt your chocolates. So you're gonna get chocolate, weird chocolate wafers, put them in the microwave on defrost for a minute and then kind of like stir it. And you may have to do it for another minute, but just a minute at a time until it's melted. And I did pink, cause I'm like obsessed with pink with little girls. And y'all, it's like so cute. Like, oh, my little pink cake pops. And now 30 minutes has passed in my world. I don't know about you, probably not, but you're gonna get your, uh, the cake pops out of the freezer and they should look like this. And then next you're going to take your lollipop sticks and your icing or your melted chocolate and you're going to dip your lollipop stick in the chocolate first, so it looks like this, and then you're going to stick it only halfway in your cake pop. Um, don't stick it all the way through, so just about halfway. And then you're gonna take your cake pop and you're going to just dip it in. And then you're going to cover it with the chocolate. And then, ah, so pretty. And you're going to get one of these like little stands so you can let them dry upright. And while they're there, if you wanna do some sprinkles, like that. 
so pretty. And repeat. It's just kind of pitiful. But you know what? Friends and family, they don't care. It doesn't taste good. It's kind of defeating though. Like you do see Pinterest and it's like so pretty and perfect and it like looks so easy. And then you realize, wow, nope. That takes a lot of time and it doesn't always turn out the way you want it to. <laughs> but here's the deal, parents. Most of the time for your kids, you know, first birthday, second birthday, third birthday, I mean, heck, fourth birthday, they don't remember. So a lot of this like crazy planning, sure, you might be like a creative person and you enjoy it and it's like your outlet with life. But a lot of the motivation for these crazy birthday parties really is more for the parents. <sighs> Hate to say it, folks, but you can do inexpensive birthdays so much easy. And your cake pops can look like this and it doesn't really matter, right? Just, just embrace, embrace the imperfection. So I'm gonna finish all of this and let you guys go. But that is how you make cake pops. And just remember, life isn't always Pinterest perfect, and that is okay. Embrace it, it's fine, it's gonna taste good, and people at the birthday party may not care. Now, if you have friends that may wanna see this recipe, share this video with them. But all of you planning little birthday parties for your kids, good luck. Don't let it overwhelm you. Don't let the comparisons keep you, your motivation going. Do it out of love and out of the cake pop-ness of your love. It takes a lot of effort to divide into a cake pop. So if you want less effort in your life, subscribe to my channel so you can learn all about money. If you want more of my cooking vlogs, check out this video on some more cooking. Good night.